hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to continue with the nct members um series uh remember that i said that i had saved a, a tarot spread that i did for mark actually when i was trying to do one of lucas uh, i confused him with a picture of mark so this uh, this started reading this tarot spread that you see here it's the first one that came out uh, and I save it because actually I was trying to do Lucas, but uh, somehow Mark wanted to come out too. He wanted his own tarot reading. He wanted his moment to shine. So here it is. Um, and while I was looking for his beard chart, I was really like um, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Not so surprised actually for the um, for this little accident that uh, I don't think accidents or coincidence of course I, I think that everything is meant to be I think that maybe um, this uh, this that reading of his that came out first is actually meant to be because uh, I see that he is a Leo sun with a moon in Aries so definitely he has um, he wants to be the lead, the lead person he wants to be the one he wants to be uh, noticed he wants to be in number one place uh, he's very competitive so I was like okay so maybe if I confuse them both it's because actually Mark wants some uh, notoriety he wants he wants me to recognize him so let's talk let's dedicate this start reading for him um, so what can we say about um, being a Leo uh, with uh, with the moon in Aries, well, a lot of fire, of course, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of dramatism, of course, and 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 an eagerness to show yourself, to present yourself, to be in the spotlight, to talk about yourself, to talk about what you are passionate about, to express yourself to the fullest and to always try to do different things and always try to come out with um, with initiatives that actually uh, are um, very exciting and very very passionate and very innovating also i think that uh, even though he has other planets in his spirit chart when you have a moon in the sun in the same element it means that this element it's very influential in your life especially when we think about the sun sign and the moon sign that both of them one reflects uh, the exterior side of us how we how we express ourselves in the outer world how the other uh, how the other uh, people perceive us uh, and the moon sign it's a very it's a more intimate kind of um um very more yes it's it's very it's more intimate um nature so um him actually being uh moon in aries people actually um i i see them like being like this very almost a bit childish sometimes because they put their feelings in the first place uh, if they feel something or if they are going through something they are going to be really ex expression uh, they're going to be really like eager to talk about it they're going to uh, make you uh, feel aware <laughs> that they are going through something so um, definitely they don't hold anything back they don't hold anything in they just express themselves and their desires and how they feel um, very very bluntly sometimes very honest and very straightforward um, um, I think that for him it's it's really um, it's really important to be able to speak uh, about about himself and about what he's going through and also this energy also gives gives him this vibe of being really having this very vibrant uh, kind of vibe very funny very enthusiastic always energetic always it's like he's always um ready to jump on the next adventure he's not quiet he's not um 
he's he's not the, the kind of person that is going to just sit around and wait and for things to happen no he's going to get out there and make things happen for himself so sometimes when you have this moon in Aries and and, and also that you are a, a fire sign uh, it means that probably you are a bit too impulsive and sometimes this impulsiveness can uh, or being this this impulse uh, impulsive actually can lead you to situations where um, it's like e your experiences in life are going to to ask you to slow down a bit and actually to be a bit um, more patient to cultivate patient mostly if, uh, because it's very tiring for people. Uh, around you to actually understand you or keep up with you um, um, Aries moon and, and fire signs in, in general they have a lot of energy they have a lot of stamina they get bored easily so sometimes when they are bored or when they feel stuck or when they are they are not having fun or they are not enjoying what they're doing um, they get really moody, they get really impatient, and they get a bit annoying, especially for other kinds of energies that probably are a bit more laid back and are a bit more like in the maybe more introvert kind of energies. Maybe he doesn't like get along with those people because he's always ready to to live life to the fullest, you know, to, to always... Uh, push himself to to the limits and 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 make new things happen for himself. So he, I, I imagine that he's not uh, he's not the guy that he's going to su just sit there. <laughs> he's going to be really like jumping all around or or trying to do uh, get into a lot of activities that can actually help him connect with creativity and he. I believe he's very eager in creating things for himself. Um, also, being a Leo and with Moon in Aries, probably he has a, a bit of those moments where he is a, a bit selfish or he can come off as being a bit like uh, too, too much of a drama queen, too much of, a, of he want, him wanting to take the lead or him wanting to take the... He wanted to be always in the first place, in the front row. So it, I don't know how it is, the, the, the dynamic between the members, but I think that it must be really funny to see him interact with other signs different to his energy because he definitely has like very strong, um, very strong energy that it's, it's not something that you just like, uh, you, you, it, it goes unnoticed. You know, he is very remarkable remarkable energetic person uh, and very opinionated also so it, it, this can also lead to a lot of moments of tension if there are uh, people that probably doesn't um, doesn't like his blandness or the way he communicates so let's go with the archetypes that he got he got the card of the the archetype of the knight the hero and the beggar so yes, definitely he goes, uh, he he enters in this mode with his archetypes of the hero and the knight. I definitely see him like battling for life, you know, being like this, the wanting to be the shining armor um, knight and, and, and wanting, to, wanting to be like the rescuer and wanting to be like this very honorable knight that he saves the day. And here with the with the hero archetype, it definitely he he's very generous. He's very giving. He's he's always likes to help people, especially people that he thinks that maybe these people doesn't have a voice, or people that are a bit helpless, or people that probably are not very confident like he is. He wants to help and be like a spokesperson for these kind of people, for the weak, for the weaker people. But sometimes he maybe he he plays he takes this role very seriously, or this uh, archetype very seriously, where he he wants to be the hero in his own story, and it's like everyone else is like uh, like a side character for him. You know, it's like everything it's about him. So probably if you start like having a conversation with him, probably they start talking about the group. 
and all of a sudden when he starts a conversation everything revolves around him so it can be a bit uh, annoying for for the rest but uh, i don't know him so maybe you can tell me in the comment section how he's like or how he behaves with the group because i think that on his own he's uh he's uh, great because actually he is not He's not clingy or needy. Uh, I think that he definitely loves attention, but I think that there's a bit of an independence in him. So probably if there are people that doesn't like him or the way or doesn't like his attitude or the way he behaves, he probably doesn't mind. It's like he he just um he just does what he wants. He's very natural in that sense. He's very like uh, spontaneous. So I think that yes, he's a bit prideful. Yes, there he definitely needs to work on his his uh, being a bit humble or probably not coming too strong to people because sometimes he can be a bit intimidating. And it probably is not that other people doesn't like him or stand him. It's just that maybe he is too much. Like sometimes he is too passionate, or he is he has a lot of energy. So. Um, definitely I would recommend him to do a lot of exercise and do a lot of activities in order to uh, to be able to um, put that energy to a good use and to know how to manage that energy energy that he has because otherwise he can burn himself in, in the sense that it can be that amount of energy that he has can turn against him if he doesn't know how to regulate it because it's like he's always with these high levels of energy so sometimes uh, he can be worn out and he is, doesn't even realize it or he can be really tired physically and he doesn't even realize it because it's like probably he's the kind of person that never gets sick because he's always active, he's always doing something. And then once he gets sick, it's like he goes, it's like he enters into some kind of coma or something like that, because it's like his body needs to shut down completely in order for him to realize that there's something wrong with him because he doesn't have time to stop. I think that he has like a lot of energy and sometimes for him to rest and to relax is not something that he he's really eager to do but i think that it's very it would be beneficial for him to not be so fiery or not be so passionate and not be so uh, energetic i mean to having these moments of of um of being just recharging his batteries and not being always uh like pushing his himself and his energy um and yes, I think that here with the knight, with the archetype of the knight and the hero, definitely he wants to be the, the he wants to be the one that does the the great grand gestures, you know. I think that I'm not going to lie, sometimes he does things for others in order to get re the recognition. Or in order to him being like, oh yes, look what I did for the other person. So even though he is generous and he loves to help other people, there's a bit of vanity in him there's a bit of of like a lot of uh, he loves himself a lot honestly <laughs> this is very leo like to love himself a lot and here with with the beggar i think that this is uh the beggar this is where where sometimes these two strong archetypes like they they start falling apart in the sense that um, because it's like he wants to be the hero, he wants to be the protagonist, he wants to save the day, he wants to uh, help others, but at the same time he's like always attached to other people's validation. So I think that he needs to work on that because here with the beggar it means that there's a bit of insecurity in him. That's why he's always like trying to be on the spotlight or he's always so competitive or he's always doing something because he wants to impress others and he wants other people to love him and to accept him. And, and sometimes he, he just wants to do those gr grand gestures or he wants to do these very like uh, extravagant actions or, or, or reactions he does in order to get attention. And, and sometimes it can be a bit tiring for people around him. Like 
because they are like this happens a lot with a lot of people that have leo energy that sometimes there's a moment of a, a bit of a misunderstanding uh, between their generosity and their need for recognition because actually what uh, what other people um, um, sometimes they they judge him for they judge leo energy for this is that how come you say you are so generous if you are after the recognition i mean if you are generous you must do it from the bottom of your heart and because you want to help and not because you have like an agenda or because you you want something in return so a lot of people are like okay you are not generous then because you want something in return so that's not generosity if we think about for example pisces energy pisces is it's all about self self selfless and selfless selfless actions and he and and, and sometimes pisces it's like the the is a very different gener generous uh, kind of people and energy and they tend to portray this energy of I'm giving you my all, I'm sacrificing myself for you, but I'm not asking you anything in return because my my ability and my desire is to help you and you don't need to give me anything back. I mean, if you want, if you feel like recognizing me, thank you. But if you don't, I'm not going to feel bad for everything I've done for you because I've done it from the bottom of my heart and I don't need your recognition and and I've done it because I can do it and I want to help you. So this is the difference between the Pisces generosity and the Leo generosity. So sometimes it can happen that also um, Leo it's... Um, Leo, it, despite of them look, being sometimes a bit ex exaggerating and being these drama queens that a lot of people know, uh, they actually, they are very, sometimes they struggle with, with self-love and self-acceptance. It's just that sometimes they are so prideful that they don't want other people to see that they need love and validation that they actually need it they need it because it feels it fits fits their soul and i think that uh, in order for them to get out of this beggar archetype it means that they need to be clear about their needs their emotional needs so that other people don't doesn't have the uh, the possibility to judge them or the possibility to be like, oh, you did this for me because you want something in return. So it would be really important for them to be like, yes, I'm generous to the people I love because they are very generous. Um, but at the same time, I need you because it's like I, it, it, it makes me happy for you to to say that you that that you love me or that you appreciate what I do because I, 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 I feed from your love. I feed from your attention. It's not that I just want it because I want it. It's just because it makes me happy. Sometimes when Leo people uh, find that moment of realization when they start like being more aware about their emotional needs and being more like clear about it, they they have more health, they have like healthier relationships with others in, in a more like balanced kind of uh, bond and connection because they they just want uh, they just want to be loved like everyone it's just that sometimes uh, when they are not really clear about why they do what they do people don't understand like why why are you asking me to do something in return it would be easier for them to clarify this from the beginning. So no one is going to like say, oh, you're selfish or you are um, or you are deceitful, you know, because Leo energy is not deceitful at all. It's just that sometimes for them it's really hard to say like, yes, I need your approval or I need your support or I need you to say that you love me more often, for example. So let's go with the tarot cards that he got. He got the tower, uh, the five of, of wands, 
the Eight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Chariot, the Lovers, the Hangman, the Two of uh, Wands, and uh, the Hierophant. So he's going through a moment of a, a, a tower moment. It's a moment where everything that you thought you knew or everything that was considered your stability is falling apart. And I think that it has to do with the group because uh, there's a lot of competition in this group. I see a lot of wands. I see him like uh, like having a lot of differences with some members or him like not feeling 100% appreciated. This is where I was saying earlier. He's giving his all. He's, he's thinking that he is giving all his energy and his passion uh, because definitely he is, because I see all these ones here, that definitely he's acting, he's doing things. Uh, but he feels like there's always a problem, that he doesn't feel appreciated. He doesn't feel, he feels like he's always giving and giving and there's nothing in return for him. So he feels like his energy goes to waste. Uh, so he is like going through this tower moment where he is realizing who likes him and who doesn't like him. Because I think that there, there's, a, I'm not saying that it's the members, but I think that it's probably other people around him also that are a bit fake, uh, that are a bit uh, like, that are for him, are with him because of his popularity and also because of his generosity because like I was saying Leo signs are very generous and when I when I say generous I mean that they give you money sometimes uh, when we think because I, I talked about um, for example I talked I mentioned Pisces energy Pisces uh, sacrifice or Pisces generosity, it means about an emotional support and sometimes it means to doing helpful things for you, for example, I don't know, buy groceries for you or I don't know, take care of your plants, of your pets, doing something like that. But when we think about Leo, um, Leo generosity, it often it's very like really important generosity especially if the leo person is famous they sometimes lend money or give money or buy really expensive things for people that they that are around them that uh, actually need it or actually are there because they want to get it from them so sometimes they are victims or blackmailing or of people that pretend to be their friends in order to get that money or get that favor and then they disappear. So there's definitely something that about a broken trust here that I think that it's also making him realize that he had been acting a bit reckless in the sense that... Um, like I was saying, he has a lot of fire energy and it means that he is very authentic and that even though he sometimes is passionate and it seems like he's really strong, like he has a strong personality, he is a softy inside. In the sense that if he sees someone that he cares about in, pro in trouble, he will do whatever, he, whatever he, he can with his means to help that person. So probably he feels a bit like he's been used or people are taking advantage of him. People around him, people that he considers like family. So I think that he is like looking at his past actions and how he's starting to see who is his real friends or his real people that really care for him and who are the fakers or who are the liars because I think that he, since he is surrounded by so many people there are a lot of people that are so fake that are so malicious that are not good for him at all and he is learning he's going to be learning from this experience he's going to be also experiencing a lot of relationships that are going to end or he's going to lose a lot of friendships but 
uh, he's going to be honest about it and he's going to be open about some things that he had been seeing that actually doesn't make him really happy and that he's starting to see people for who they really are. So he's like evaluating like, okay, I've been a fool because I wasn't able to see the signs. Maybe I was too bright. Maybe I was too, like, I was like too, uh, too busy. So now he's studying the full situation. And also here with the Queen of Swords, and the chariot and the lovers it definitely means that um he is um moving forward he's he's definitely like um because there's someone in his life that it's really um important for him i think it's a female it's someone that actually i don't see romantic feelings but i see that she he's she's really important to him it can be like um someone that is older than him probably like i don't know if he's his mother or his sister or or, or maybe a, a very close friend but i feel like the female energy and that she she is like him she is very straightforward she's very honest she's very caring but at the same time she is like she will probably like let him know that that all this all those things that he had been like not wanting to see about people that he thought he trusted so she will be like revealing a lot of things and trying to open open his eyes uh and and helping him to make a decision while moving forward because he needs to make a decision he cannot keep interacting with the same persons he needs to do some kind of purge in his inner circle or his closer circle of friends or acquaintances he needs to do some cleaning um because there's there's there are a lot of characters in there that are not really are are, are not uh, are very uh, deceiving so i think that definitely he will follow the advices of this female that is very influential in his life because i think that she is very wise and she's also she's also very very uh, very rightful very she's she's really tries believes in justice she believes in balance so if you are unfair she will just cut you out of her life so i think that she is talking about she's talking to him about it about doing some cleaning about like removing a few characters that actually are um that can can get him into trouble because i think that there are a lot of people that are very that their intentions are not good and that they can like affect him somehow uh, and then with the with the hangman and the two of of ones definitely he's thinking also about the company because the last card is the heriophant so he's thinking about um the company he's thinking also about a lot of projects that he he wants to release but somehow they are being like um they are being delayed they are being like pushed to the back they are being like postponed and he's not liking that but at the same time this this moment of him actually uh, wanting to do something and actually having and people saying no to him or being like oh no right now is not the right moment is actually helping him helping him to see actually the company the way it is i think that he had always been respectful when it comes to what the company wanted from him and he had always delivered he's very hard working uh, he is uh, he's very he has a lot of power. He has. He knows his worth. He knows his good. He knows he uh, he had been putting all the efforts and the work, but at the same time, all these uh, delays and all these, like I think, like a lot of people like say no to him, and I think that a lot of people like being like, oh no, not right, right now, no, it's not a good time. I think that, and and he's feeling this like almost like 
like a threat to his creativity you know it's like oh you're you're not letting me express myself or you're not letting me do what what i want so he definitely is not going to be happy about it he will probably say something because i think that he like i said he's very opinionated so i don't see him like like just as just sitting waiting for them to be like okay now you can work on what you wanted to work on But at the same time, I think he's going to be clever in the sense that um, since he's going, he has been waiting for some kind of resolution to, to come out or some kind of response, um, he is going to be studying the situation from a distance. And very surprisingly, he, he's going to be really calm about it and he's going to be planning how he's going to proceed. Uh, depending on the response he gets. So he's definitely uh, becoming more like more of a business person, like knowing how to negotiate or knowing how to probably not be so um, reactive or not being so like childish, you know, not being like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. No, I think he's learning to be a bit more strategic because it's like uh, he knows that he's not going to get what he wants if he keeps pushing or if he keeps like being like too demanding or, or, or talking with a tone of sounding like a child. There's something about him that he's definitely like learning from his experience. In the next six months, he's going to be learning a lot about his experience. And probably this female also has a lot to do because, you know, I mentioned, I mentioned justice. So probably she also is someone that, that gives him advice about business or about the law or about legal matters. Because I think he's definitely, um, it's like he has a lot of more resources and it's like the way he's going to go to do some, some, I'm not saying that he's going to demand things, but I think that there's a possibility that he wants uh, to change a few things. I don't know if it is about his contract or whatever, I don't uh, because I don't know much about him, but he's going to be really like, he's going to be studying a lot the situation in order to act because he is like he wants to be more independent and he wants to create more things for himself he wants to do more he wants to shine more and he also wants to do things differently i think that like i said he he had been feeling lately that he had been taken up taken advantage of or that people had been using him for so long that now he's like standing his ground it's like he had always been like this but i think that now he's the way he's going to go after what he wants is going to be smarter it's going to be wiser it's going to be more matured that even is going to shock people in the in the company it's going to be like wow i cannot believe uh wow like what happened to him but i definitely see that someone is advising him there's a female There's someone that is like, okay, if you go, if you want to achieve this, or if you want to go after this goal, you have to do it with certain steps and with certain strategy. You cannot just go knock the door and be like, hello, I want this. Uh, he, she's teaching him to be more patient and not to be, not to act like a brat or like a child. Just be more like a business person. Be be more manipulative and also because i feel like there's a lot of manipulation and i think that he had been manipulated for a long time and he is like they they know what to say to him because he's like he's also very weak to to praises so when someone compliments him so when someone says something nice to him or makes like a remark about how he's doing great he suddenly forgets about everything that he wants to say because it's like he's easy to convince in that sense if you say if you give him compliments or if you say something nice to him he probably if he's mad about something he will just forget about it <laughs> he will be okay 
So definitely he needs to know how to be more, um, he needs to know more about business and he needs to, to, to always know how to stand his ground because I, I think that he's very like passionate and he is like when he gets upset he goes and he just wants he, he just goes and attacks but then he easily is persuaded it's like the fire that he ignites it it is, it is put off really easily with a few words or with a few kind words so definitely he's learning and he's growing so guys this is all i have for mark so if you are uh, an NCT fan, please give me some feedback about this boy because I don't know much about him and and I want you to know that even though I do not know nothing about him, uh, I, I everything I said, I said it from a place of respect. So I also ask for you to always the feedback in the comments to be with respect uh, and, and not... Um, and do not attack each other in the comment sections. Just uh, this is a place where where we like to exchange opinions and we like to learn about these idols. And and of course, uh, you can take the interpretation if you feel it's accurate. And if you don't, you, you just um, don't don't listen to it. It's just it's just my intuition. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.